Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If your connection is lost, how do you reconnect? You have a mobile phone, but you forgot to charge it. Could you connect to your loved ones? Could you watch your favorite reels? Could you post your latest photos? If your phone is fully charged, but you didn't pay your internet subscription, still, you won't be able to connect. So, in a Muslim's case, charging the phone is actually praying. Paying the internet fees is actually thanking God for all he has given us. When you are drawing at school or writing your homework, you make mistakes. Can you get rid of these mistakes without an eraser? Praying five times a day erases sins in between prayer times. Morning Assembly When going to school every morning, we have to attend the Morning Assembly. In the army, you stand attention in the morning ceremony. Policemen have a morning assembly. Everyone reports to their superiors. We Muslims report to ours five times a day. So prayers for a Muslim are charging and paying fees, assembly with our superior five times a day, thanking him for all his bounties, and obeying his orders, erasing sins every time you pray, your sins are forgiven until the next prayer. What is Salah? Salah is the prayer that all Muslims perform. In general, Salah refers to the required prayers that Muslims must do five times a day. The Salah is mentioned in the Qur'an many times and was taught to us by the Prophet Muhammad We still pray just like he did. During the Salah, we do different actions and say specific things. We all pray facing the Kaaba in Mecca. We stand, bow, sit, and prostrate. We thank Allah and ask Him for the things that we want or need, and Allah rewards us for that. It's important to remember that we are created to worship Allah. That is our purpose. We should also remember that doing good deeds like praying makes us do more good deeds because they direct our hearts to Allah. When you love someone, it's easy to do things for them, easy to talk to them, easy to ask them for things, and their company becomes enjoyable. Try to remember this when you are getting ready to pray to Allah. How to pray step by step. First of all, we have to clean ourselves before we pray. This is called making wudu. You must make wudu before you pray. If you used the restroom, pass gas, or slept since the last time you made wudu. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله. Now that you made wudu, let's make the pre-prayer checklist. Make sure your body, clothes, and place to pray are clean. Take a moment to clean them up if needed. The qibla. We pray facing the qibla which is the Kaaba in Mecca. Ask an adult to help you if you're not sure where that is. Three, focus. Make sure that you don't need to go to the bathroom and have nothing around you that will distract you, like TV or music. Number four, 
dressed, dressed appropriately. Boys should dress modestly. Nothing should be above the knee. And girls should cover everything except your face and hands. Obligatory prayers of the day and night. It's easier to learn to pray by watching someone else pray. Two rak'ah prayer like Fajr, a three rak'ah prayer like Maghrib, and a four rak'ah prayer like Dhuhr, Asr, and Isha. Dhuhr and Asr, we read Quran silently. Fajr, Maghrib, and Isha, we read Quran out loud for the first two rak'ahs. How to pray. There are four positions for the prayer. They are standing, qiyam, bowing, rukur, prostrating, sujood, sitting, julus. First, stand facing qibla, raise your hands and say, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar means Allah is greater. In the moment of praying salah, saying Allahu Akbar as a reminder to the Muslim, that Allah is greater than all other thoughts and actions. So as soon as you raise your hands, then you will just start to concentrate on your salah and forget about everything else. Second, lower your hands and place them over your navel. Your right hand should be placed over your left hand. Keep your eyes focused on the ground in front of you. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that while you pray, your eyes should always look down where you prostrate. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik wa tabarak asmuk wa ta'ala jadduk wa la ilaha ghayr. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين After reciting Surah Al-Fatiha, you can recite another chapter from Quran. However, at a minimum, you must recite Surah Al-Fatiha in every rak'ah of your prayer. Third, bow down. This is known as the ruku'ah. As you are bowing down, say Allahu Akbar. Make sure to keep your back straight, your hands on your knees, and your eyes focused on the ground where you will be prostrating. When you are in this position, you will say, Three times, Subhana Rabbi al -Azim. Fourth, return to standing up again. As you are rising up from the Rukua position to a standing position, you will bring your hands to your ears and you will say, Sami Allahu liman hamida. And when you are standing upright, then lower your hands to your waist and say, Rabbana wa laka al -hamd. Fifth, go down to perform prostration. This is known as sujood. As you are moving into this position, say Allahu Akbar. Also make sure your forehead, nose, palms of both hands, knees and both toes are touching the ground. Say this sentence three times while in sujood. Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. Sixth, Rise up from sujood and sit for a moment. Say Allahu Akbar as you rise from sujood and then sit on your left leg. Your left foot will rest on the floor while your right foot is upright. Place your hands on your knees. When you are in this position, it is recommended to ask Allah for forgiveness. A simple and easy dua you can say is Rabbi Ghfirli. Seventh, return to the position of sujood. You will repeat and perform a second sujood and say Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la three times again. Arise from the sujood to return to the standing position and say Allahu Akbar. You have just completed one full rak'ah. The first rak'ah of every prayer is performed with these eight steps. When you reach the second, the end of the second rak'ah, you will perform the tashahud.
تحيات لله والصلوات والطيبات السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله